you want your gig thumbnail to show up in Fiverr's search when a buyer is searching for your services and immediately you want them to be able to pinpoint, okay, this is what this gig is gonna offer me. You wanna draw them in, you want them to click it, you want them to know exactly what you're offering. A gig thumbnail is super important to selling on Fiverr, but the issue you might be facing if you're not super artistic or not a master with Photoshop is how do you create a great gig photo without spending all this money on a graphic designer? Take me, for example. I'm not very artistic. I don't really know how to use Photoshop and I'm not a graphic designer. But when I was starting out on Fiverr, I was in the same situation you were in. I knew I needed to create awesome gig photos to attract people to my listings, but I didn't want to pay anyone to do it. So I figured out how to use free tools to create gig photos that I've been using across all of my gigs over the last nine months and they've accumulated over 150,000 impressions for me and over 100 orders in that time. It's been awesome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Microsoft Paint 3D to create a professional looking gig photo quickly and easily to use with your gigs. Yes, I said Paint 3D. Believe it or not, it's the best tool that I've found to use for my purposes. And I know there's probably easier options that people would suggest, Things like using PowerPoint or Google Slides just to create a quick, professional looking uh, background for your, for your gigs. However, in my time using Fiverr, I've noticed that almost every seller who's not graphically inclined is creating them this way. And I thought that if I wanted to stand out, taking a little bit of extra time to create something a little custom, albeit pretty basic and simple, would go a long way. And it's definitely helped, judging by the, you know, dramatic number of impressions I've been able to accumulate in such a short period of time. So with that, I'm gonna jump over to a screen share and show you my process for creating gig photos that have really gotten my gigs noticed. The first step that I take when building a gig thumbnail is to find some inspiration. Since I'm not super artistically inclined, I like to find examples of colors and patterns in other advertisements that I think look good. The idea is that other companies who you know, are larger and have graphic designers on staff know what colors are going to work well together. So I'm not here to reinvent the wheel. I just want to build a gig thumbnail that looks good. So once I find something that I like, I use that as the benchmark for my advertisement. So just scrolling through LinkedIn here, um, you know, looking at this here, uh, an advertisement the companies put out for their Cisco services. I really like the colors and the palette used here. I'm gonna use this as the benchmark for my gig thumbnail. The next and really the final step is to get started building your thumbnail in Paint 3D. What I've done here is I opened two windows of paint, one on the left with the example I'm gonna be using as my benchmark and one on the right. This is my bit blank canvas where I'm gonna be building my thumbnail. The first thing I like to do is get a background going. So what I'll be doing is looking at this image on the left, I want to use the same deep bluish color that they used. So I'll click the eyedropper tool. I'll select an area of the color I want, click the, the paint image and copy the hex code. This is the code that uniquely identifies the exact color that they're using here. So moving to the right screen, I'll click the paint bucket tool, color select, and I'll paste that same code in. You'll notice it selected the same color that I had on the left and I'll paste it from my background. Next, I'm going to add a couple of geometric shapes on this canvas just to make it a little bit more interesting. So going back to the left, I'm going to select a couple of colors that I want to use. So again, copy the hex code and we're going to move to the right and this time I'm going to build some shapes. So we'll start with a rounded square. We'll select new paint. Boom, so there's one. I went and do another one a little bit darker. So I'll go back to the left. I'll select a darker portion, copy the code. And again, just build another shape. Paste it in, boom. Boom. So now just to spice this up a little bit more, uh, I know it's really basic, but again, this video is not meant to show you how to be a graphic designer. The goal here is to give you enough to get started and get a gig up that looks good enough, that it looks like it may have been done by someone. 
who knows more than me <laughs> or more than I do about graphic design. So for the background, I think this is good enough. We got a couple of rounded squares, a couple circles, bubbles floating around. Next, we're gonna get started on the text. So I really like how there's this contrast uh, between this teal and white. So for our example, let's say I write resumes. I'm gonna go grab that eyedropper tool and select this blue. We're gonna select text. We're gonna start writing. Professional resume writer. We'll center it, select the appropriate color that I selected and uh, let's make it bold. Oops, wrong color. There we go. So I really like that. Maybe we'll underline professional just to catch people's eyes. Put that right at the top there, or actually maybe in the middle, it looks pretty good. Next for white, uh, we don't really need to copy anything there. So we'll start writing some benefits. So when you're building these thumbnails, you wanna put a couple keywords or buzzwords that people might be thinking when searching for your ad. So in this case, let's say, get a better job. Make more money. And actually let's capitalize all these. We'll shrink this a little bit. Um, and lastly, we'll just say get promoted. Oops. Let's select this again. Just get this where we want it. And there you have it. I would use something like this, and I have used uh, thumbnails just like this for most of my gigs on Fiverr. Uh, I know it's not the most professional or most complicated way of designing things, but trust me, in the last eight months, I've gotten over 150,000 impressions and done over 130 orders. It's worked well enough for me. So if you're looking to get started without spending a fortune or even hiring anyone at all, this is a great option. And if we make this full screen here, that's what you got. It's great. All right, so if you made it this far and you've survived my really short Microsoft Paint 3D graphics design tutorial, you've now created a thumbnail that you can use for your gigs. It's not the most professional or complicated method, and it doesn't have to be. The whole point of these videos is to help you start selling on Fiverr and start making money. Creating a gig photo quickly and easily is gonna be super important because as you grow as a seller, you're gonna start offering more gigs. And if you're like me and you don't wanna waste money hiring a graphic designer for something you can do yourself, you need to be able to confidently turn these out in a way that you can be confident that they'll look professional and get people to click your gig. So that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Like all of my other videos, if you found this helpful, please like, leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It helps me by motivating me to continue to produce these, and I, I sure hope it's helping you, uh, and I'd love to hear about your, your journey growing and selling on Fiverr. Cheers.